Hi, we're going to go over using emojis with interactive questions. I'm Lisa Scompiero. I am an ed tech coach in Hagerstown, Maryland for Washington County Public Schools. I taught 24 years as an English teacher and this is my fourth year in this capacity. What you will learn after this session is where to find the interactive questions for any Screencastify video, how to add interactive questions to any Screencastify video, and why and how to add emojis for students who are non-readers, beginning readers, or need to connect to their emotions. So the first thing is where to find the interactive questions feature on Screencastify. You would go into Screencastify and you would open up My Recordings. Once you're in My Recordings, you can use any past or present recording. And on the right, you click on Interactive Questions. Next, you'll find out how to add interactive questions to a Screencastify video. So whenever you're in the video itself, you'll be able to go to the right and click on Interactive Questions. When you click on that, a new tab will open. When that tab opens, you'll see questions, share, and responses at the top. At the bottom, you'll see a blue circle that says add question. If you go down and scroll down a little bit, we're going to turn off the volume here, you'll be able to see that you can actually choose the timestamp that you want to use to add your question. You will then be able to type in your question and that will show you the time on the video on the right. When you are ready to add your answers, you can click on the right clicking of your button and go to Emojis and Symbols. This is where you can choose emojis that students could use if they do not put in actual text answers because they can't read them. At the end of this presentation, there will be an actual Emojipedia that you can look up to find out what each emoji means so that you make sure you're using appropriate ones with your students. On other formative assessments, you could add emojis instead of text by doing the same thing. Notice at the bottom left, it does tell you you have to have at least two answers and one has to be correct. Now that you have it, you can go up to Share. You can copy the page link or you can share with Google Classroom. Let's copy with the page link right now. In the top left, we're going to go back to the management page. On the right, you'll see Share Settings. Click on that and then Edit. You'll be able to click on Share within your organization or Share with anyone or keep it private. And then also you'll be able to make the default setting on the left so that you don't have to change it each time and hit save. Now that you have that URL, go ahead and put that in to see what it would look like. You'll be able to scroll down and when you get to that question, you'll see how it will pop up and how it will present itself for the student. As you see, there's only one answer. Let's choose one that's not the right answer. You could tell students that every answer is the right answer, but for this point, you put down what how you felt. The next step is how to check viewers and interactive question completion and answers. So when you go to viewers, you'll see that there's one viewer. You'll be able to click on that and see in the other part the actual completion and who got it correct and incorrect. Later on you'll be able to see students and see their individual answers as well as the questions and how many people answered a specific question the way they did. Let's go over why and how to use emojis in interactive questions. Emojis are a great way to get a pulse for your classroom. It's non-threatening they can answer it because everything seems correct and you don't have to have them worry about that. So these resources should be able to help you. You have the copy and paste emojis which if you go to the website you'll be able to see that. You'll see the Emojipedia and then you'll see a Matt Miller article about 10 ways to use emojis in the classroom. If you scan the QR code, you'll get this presentation. 
I hope this helps and I hope you have a wonderful day.